Hi, my name is Alina and I'm from North Brisbane and today I'd like to talk to you about my Yoni Whisperer bodywork and especially my Yoni Whisperer Awakening bodywork. I like to work with women um, and, and help them how to get in touch with themselves, how to awaken their sensuality, be very embodied and and also to awaken their orgasmic self and their orgasmic potential. That seems to be my passion in life um, is, is actually working with orgasm and um, experiencing the most profound, awakened, expanded experiences of orgasm. Now, um, my Yoni Whisper Awakening Bodywork is, is about awakening, stimulating and de-armoring. And for a woman to feel pleasure, perhaps for the very, very first time. I studied sexological bodywork in 2010. And at the time we learned about yoni mapping. Um, I don't know if you've actually heard of yoni mapping. It's a therapy where we actually go in and we map the vagina and um, it's about breaking down any blockages that you might be holding as a woman. We hold blockages from any sort of sexual trauma that we might have had, have experienced. Um, even sexual trauma could even be classed as having sex when you don't feel like having sex. So you're in bed when you're with your partner and perhaps they've got a higher sex drive than you and they're very, being very pushy about having sex. So. Even that can actually close a woman down. And what I mean by closing down is, if you're actually doing something that you don't really want to do, we do tense. And so basically um, the American Indians believe that as we, go, as we experience trauma or experiences during our life, we can armor ourselves and um, we can build an armor where we can actually close down a feeling and, and we lose touch with ourselves. So Yoni Whisper Awakening Bodywork is about getting in touch with our sexual self, with our orgasmic self, with our, with our true self, getting back to our, our sexuality. Now what I mean by that is um, my very first boyfriend that I had when I was a teenager, um, I grew up in the country and I didn't have um, any negativity said towards me regarding sex. And we went out for about a year and we ended up sleeping together. And I remember having these really amazing orgasms. It was just like I was floating in this wildly, just beautiful place. It was, oh, it's just about being in the moment. It was, it was just a really amazing experience. Um, it wasn't about, about pumping, it was just about really being in each other's company and being totally present. And because I hadn't had any negative negativity about sex put towards me, I think um, back then in those days I was very much in touch with myself sexually. And I really, really enjoyed sex, I have to say, I had a very high sex drive. And I remember at school, talking to some friends about my experiences that I had with my boyfriend and then all of a sudden there was sex, sex shaming going on. I was like talked about as if I was a slut and that really, it just really rocked my world. It was, I just couldn't believe it that people thought that way. I just couldn't believe it that sex could be so irky, so yucky, so not yucky is not the word, that's not really what the word I'm trying to think of, but I just couldn't believe that people thought that way. And it was a really big shock to me from the country. Being a country girl, it was a really big shock. And I think basically from that point onwards, that where is where I started closing down as well. The relationship ended, you know, I had my first hope and my first broken heart as everyone has every you have to be very unlucky if you don't go through life having a broken heart and and then i met another boyfriend 
and that was a six year relationship and um, as I said I was very very highly sexed and we used to have sex quite often I'm still thinking about it now it was a really great experience in my life but um, I actually started getting um, urinary tract infections we were having so much sex it was so much so good but when I started getting infections then I started feeling pain and then I'd have to go on a course of antibiotics and it seemed to turn into a big cycle of um, having sex getting a urinary tract infection being on a cycle of antibiotics and then having to take um, probiotics for my stomach so that I could level back my bacteria that the actual um, antibiotics that it had actually killed in my in my gut and through my body so then I started getting to a stage where I didn't actually want to have sex because every time I did have sex I got a bladder infection and that was painful and of course I had a partner that was very interested in sex and and he was starting to get he was starting to get really sad like as if um, I wasn't interested in him anymore and it wasn't the, that wasn't the fact at all I was just closing myself down I was armoring my yoni armoring my genitals because every time I had sex I started to relate that to, to hurt and um, and unwell and having to sit on the toilet because I had a bladder infection so it didn't really do it, it actually caused lots of damage in our relationship I went from a wildly sexual being to someone that um, didn't want to have sex at all because of the pain and the hurt from getting bladder infections and it, it put lots of pressure on our relationship we got to a stage where he was saying well you know if, if you don't come across if you don't want to have sex with me I'm going to have to look for someone else to to have sex with and um, he was a really amazing looking man he had a fantastic personality and and also um, it, it just was really sad because the relationship did end he did end up playing around on me and broke my heart and um, left me feeling really just really sad in myself because I, I really did love the man very much and he left me for someone else and so from that I had to I was then very closed down sexually I wasn't feeling the orgasms that I used to feel I couldn't get to that place any longer I couldn't let myself go you know through having a broken heart um, we can really close ourselves down and I went for, for years not being able to get into that space again and, and I really remember it it was a really beautiful place to experience and it wasn't until I actually really did sexological bodywork in 2010 that I started to reconnect with myself again and when I say reconnecting with myself again part of the course was um, was um, self-pleasure which I found very very hard to do it wasn't something that I did on a regular basis and I wasn't in touch with myself and I didn't know how to make myself orgasm I mean it's unbelievable to, to think that but I didn't know how to get myself there one of my friends bought me a vibrator and um, I gave up with that because it just wasn't working for me and the reason why it wasn't working was I was very closed down I wasn't in touch with myself I had just really lost myself I had to reprogram myself from from thinking of sex as being hurt because I was going to get another bladder infection and I was going to be unwell and not feel very good so sexological body work was a very very big um, it was a very dramatic experience in my life it was very confronting especially having to do orgasmic yoga daily practice and um, from that I started getting more in touch with myself um, from being from having yoni um, bodywork sessions from vaginal mapping I started to really release and uh, started to become more in touch with myself and more, more in touch with my sexuality and getting back to what I used to be when I was a teenager 
that beautiful place where you can have sex and you can just lose yourself. So I'm someone that's actually gone through my own my own yoni dearmoring, and of course after doing the course I started working with women, and then I started developing um, my own styles in my of giving yoni whisper body work and obviously developing yoni whisper body work. And I do have four stages that I like to take a woman through when I work with them. Now the first stage of Yoni Whisper Body Work is awakening and that is the dearmoring of the vagina. That is actually about going into the vagina and, and massaging and finding any sore spots, um, finding any um, scar tissue because a lot of women have scar tissue in the vagina from giving birth, um, especially if you've had a, a pisiotomy and you've had stitches. So. The Yoni Whisper Awakening Bodywork, I go in with special oil, special oils and I actually go in, I look for scar tissue, I massage, we look for sore spots, we get, I get you breathing into your body so you can be very aware and the goal is basically for you to experience um, relief from blockages that are holding you back from feeling pleasure. Some women um, at the end of the session can be crying on the, on the massage table after they've had an experience of Yoni Whisper Awakening, um, vaginal mapping body work. So do be aware of that, it can be very confronting. Um, and, and asking you to really let yourself release and get into yourself again, feeling in your body um, and losing yourself and getting out of your head because a lot of the times we, we don't have, we can't experience orgasm or experience very expanded um, experiences of orgasm because we're so much in our head. Um, I have my own techniques to really relax your body and soften the spinal column. If you're a lady that does experience orgasm but only experiences one orgasm and then it's don't touch me anymore, don't touch me, I'm really sensitive, that is just a genital orgasm. And I'm going to teach you um, how to relax, um, coach you how to relax and how to feel and be, be back in your body again. And so that is um, and my Yoni Whisper Awakening body work. Um, I like to do three sessions and if you check my website out, the pricing will be there. It's yoniwhisperer.com. Now, after um, your three sessions of awakening, the next um, session I like to give is Yoni Whisperer Bliss. And Yoni Whisperer Bliss is about going over the whole body and mapping the whole body for pleasure. And finding out during a session where you might feel the most sensations. Now for me, I love, 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 love my lower back being very, very softly, centrally touched. I really, really love my ears being nibbled. That's something that really turns me on. Uh, I love soft touch all over my body. So with Yoni Whisperer Bliss Bodywork, it's about going over the whole body and finding out different places that you can feel pleasure and being very much in your body. And um, the goal for that is to be in the bedroom and be able to ask for what you want because the men out there in our community, I mean, every woman likes to be aroused differently. Every orgasm, every woman can orgasm differently, can feel pleasure differently. So we're putting a lot on our guys. We're asking a lot for them to get us into orgasms, especially if we don't even know what turns us on ourselves. So if you want to be an orgasmic woman, if you want to experience true pleasure in the bedroom, it's about really getting in touch with yourself and finding out what really turns you on and what gives you pleasure so that when you're in the bedroom with your man, you can actually ask for what you want. You can say, oh wow, that feels really nice, but I really like it when you do this. And you can show the man what you actually like. And, and that's a really fantastic place to be if you can ask for what you want. But also, um, I like to teach women about um, consent. Now, when I say consent is that if someone is doing something to our body, trying to give us pleasure and it's not feeling very good at all, consent is, um, can also be about, I don't, I don't know if I'm really sure if I like that, but can you try this because this is something that I really like. 
So consent is really important into the bed in the bedroom. Consent is is even a man asking you, can I kiss you when he's very first met you for the very first time, asking consent, just not touching your body and um, and being in your space, perhaps when you're not even ready for it yet, because some ladies do like to get to know a man before they actually even start kissing or doing anything passionate with them. I certainly have to say that I'm very much like that. So consent is about saying yes, it's about saying no, it's about hmm, I'm not sure if I like that, can you try something different? Women are not very good at um, asking for what they want. Um, and that's something that I really like to address in my Yoni Whisperer Bliss body work. It's about finding all those beautiful places in your body that you feel pleasure and then so when you do understand your body and you know what you like you can actually you can actually tell another person that you're with and ask them exactly for what you want. The next stage of Yoni Whisperer body work is Yoni Whisperer orgasmic body work. I know a lot of people in my industry don't go into orgasmic body work. I do. It's about finding out where you're orgasmic. And of course, there's lots of different places inside the vagina that we can stimulate to give different types of orgasms. So when you actually graduate into my Yoni Whisperer orgasmic sessions, it's about, well, at that stage, you've actually got to a place where you uh, can really feel in your body, your yoni, your vagina has been dearmored, it's been softened, you can feel in yourself, you've had your bliss massing, mapping, you've had your bliss mapping, and now it's time to map your orgasmic potential of your vagina. And of course, the clitoris isn't the center of the universe, so the clitoris isn't the clitoris isn't the place that we're going to be putting lots of attention. It's all the other places, the labia minora, the labia majora, um, the mound, um, and of course, obviously going into the vagina and stimulating different places and, and allowing you to relax so you can start feeling pleasure and, and coaching you. So when you do actually experience an orgasm, coaching you into a much more profound body-based orgasm an auric based orgasm. Really opening up your potential into something larger and not experiencing just a genital orgasm where you have one orgasm in the clitoris and then it's please don't touch me anymore, I'm too sensitive. So when a woman learns how to feel pleasure and feel orgasm and then learns how to make the correct sound, how to move her body, how to spiral her erotic energy, how to make the correct sound, how to focus, how to build your orgasm out into your aura and how then to experience multiples of orgasm that can be that can build to peaks and then back off and build to another peak and just rolling multiple orgasmic pleasure. That's what my Yoni Whisperer orgasmic bodywork is about. It's about mapping orgasmically the vagina internally and finding all those hot spots that really rock your world. And the last session that I like to, um, to give is my Yoni Whisper Domination Bodywork. And those for ladies that would like to explore domination. And domination is a very interesting place to explore. Domination, I love domination. I really love domination. It, I'm someone that can be very much in my head and so it gets to me to, to drop into very low brain waves and because I'm being touched all over the body with lots of different sensations now let me just go back a little bit domination and BDSM is what I'm talking about here and I'm not talking about flogging your bottom with a whip here although I have to say I do enjoy that it can actually send me into very very ex ex very ecstatic experiences of orgasm, especially if my clitoris is being stimulated at the same time. So BDSM and, and, and my Yoni Whisperer Domination Bodywork is, is just taking you a little bit further with my bliss mapping, but putting you into a domination experience where we can slow the brain down. 
I know a lot of ladies have, written, have, have read Fifty Shades of Grey. So this is a very soft way to explore your Fifty Shades of Grey and um, take you into another experience that you probably never thought that could take you into really amazing experiences of orgasm. So if you'd like to talk to me more about my Yoni Whisperer bodywork, remember the sessions are Yoni Whisperer Awakening. I like to do three sessions of my awakening. I like to do one session of my Yoni Whisperer Bliss bodywork, mapping your body for your bliss, for bliss places. Every place on your body, the places on your body where you feel pleasure and, and can send you into a beautiful ecstatic states of pleasure. My Yoni Whisperer Orgasmic bodywork, mapping the vagina for your orgasmic potential and of course my yoni whisperer domination bodywork if you know what it feels like to be dominated and um, to to really know how to touch someone you can take it home in the bedroom and you can do that to your partner you can tie him up if it's a guy or a lady if it's a girl and um, you can give them the same type of experience in the body in the bedroom so thank you so much for listening um, I hope this gives you a little bit more of an idea about my Yoni Whisperer bodywork and of course I am training as well. Um, I do have someone in, in Brisbane that I'm training very shortly and he's going to be um, coming into um, helping me with my work because um, some ladies don't want to come and see me as a female but they prefer to go and see a man and we're talking about a guy here that is very much in his masculine and of course, all Yoni Whisperer bodywork is done fully clothed. So do be aware of that. It's one way touch. And we want you to be in a place where you very, very feel very safe so that you can actually surrender and you know that um, that no one is going to take any any no one's going to take advantage of you because this is what Yoni Whisper Awakening bodywork, Yoni Whisper bodywork is about. It's about you getting back into yourself and very feeling very, very safe so that you can actually release any blockages and tension that you hold on to and get back into your orgasmic self again. Or perhaps even discover your orgasmic self and your true self for the first time. So if anyone is interested in training, please contact me on my Yoni Whisperer Bodywork site. My phone number actually is on there and please text me. Um, at the moment, I'm not training anyone else in Brisbane, but it's certainly other areas of Australia or other areas of the world if you actually are interested. Thank you so much for listening this far and um, have a very, very happy day. And thanks so much. Mwah. Talk to you again, again soon.